Hi everyone, my name is Nancy. I'm the exercise physiologist in the Zakem Center for Integrative Therapies and Healthy Living. And today, Isabella and I are gonna be showing you lots of different versions of a squat. This is sort of a mainstay exercise that you can be doing. You don't need any equipment at all to achieve this. Um, but we're gonna show you some variations of it. We're gonna show you some modifications and some things to just use a sort of a little checklist for yourself when you try to practice these on your own. So I'm gonna be demonstrating this using the wall and Isabella's gonna be demonstrating using a chair. So that our, you know, right off the bat gives us a couple of options. So um, either version, our feet are gonna be hip distance apart. Now I'm gonna be back against the wall. So I wanna make sure I'm at least a foot and those you know, people who are taller and have longer legs, you're gonna to wanna to be even further. And then I'm gonna lean back um, so that my spine is against the wall, ideally my head as well. Um, as well as gonna keep her hands crossed, that is one version. You could also extend, if you're doing like the wall, you could extend them here on the wall. And then we're just gonna slide, I'm gonna slide down the wall, Isabella's gonna squat to her chair, and then we just come back up. So you'll notice I'm not going that far down. So if you're somebody who maybe your knee is, uh, maybe there's a little bit of arthritis in there, um, maybe your joints are feeling a little bit stiff, you know, start with a small range of motion. That is fine. That is still going to be working and strengthening these muscles in the front of our thighs, our quads. And then we're also going to be strengthening our glutes. Now, over time, you may be able to get lower, like the depth of a chair, as Isabella's showing, but stay with whatever range of motion you have in the beginning. And over time, maybe your depth gets a little bit further. Now you wanna make sure your knees stay tracking forward. For some of us, when we squat down, our knees knock together. Some of us, they bow out. We wanna keep them straight ahead. At the bottom of the move, there should be a little bit of ability to wiggle your toes. Um, it's a little easier to test this when you're doing the wall version than the, the chair version, but try to make sure that your knees are still essentially over your ankles or likely just behind your toes, particularly again, if your knees are at all kind of achy, um, that will help. And then lastly, what you could do as you get stronger is you could grab a weight. And I tend to like to hold it what we call goblet style. So kind of the long way I wrap my hands around and then I hold this weight while I squat down and back. Now that's one version. You could also have one weight in each hand and do it that way. So there's lots of ways we can be done <laughs> to, um, you know, work on strengthening these really important muscles in the front um, and back of our legs, but being mindful of other issues that might be going on with our knees, with our balance and things like that. So lots of ways to progress as you get stronger here in this video. For more exercise videos, our live classes, nutrition, meditation, and other integrative therapies, you can visit our website, which is myzakum.dana-farber.org. If you are a Dana Farber patient and you would like to schedule a free exercise consultation with me, please check out the links in the description below. Thank you.